it's finally time to do my wardrobe switchover and I really need it. It started to get so cold and I live in one of those really annoying buildings that the entire building is either heating or cooling and then they switch it over at one point or another and so when it's that transitional time, like right now, it's still on cooling. They haven't switched the building over so I can't put the heating on so I am wearing many layers today because I'm just cold. I've had a heat pack, I've had like two showers. It's really frustrating and then the opposite happens in May-ish and it'll be really hot and we're still stuck on heating. Anyway, I have so many sweaters and winter stuff that I need to sort through. I want to pack away all of my summer stuff and just start organizing things. I have done so much furniture rearranging. I was in a mood last night. I ended up rearranging the entire office. There's just stuff everywhere at this point, so I will I will explain that a little bit later, but I'm going to start by figuring out what sweaters I actually want to keep or what I want to do with them and start thinking about putting away some of the summer stuff that I have. I'm already confused. I don't even know how this is going to go. a delightful mess. Uh, in one of the boxes it's filled up with mostly beanies and gloves which are essential so I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet so they can stay there. I have these at home socks that my mom sent me. I have a bunch of plain long sleeve shirts that I wear under other sweaters and whatnot for an extra layer. I have a scarf that I want to keep. I have a bunch of winter type pants here that I'm definitely going to keep. This pile here are all the sweaters that I want to keep and then I have my Christmas pajamas Pajamas. This pile is maybe and I think that pile over there is a no. I really want to keep mostly soft sweaters in my collection. I am less likely in fact I almost will never wear a rough feeling sweater for example this one it's really beautiful and I got this from Madewell a couple of years ago but it's not soft it's pretty but it's not soft whereas I take this one here which is a wool sweater I got from Kukai and it is so soft this one I got from Wilfred and it's really soft this one I got from Zara years ago when I was in Italy and it's stunning. I, I don't think I will ever get rid of this because it's so pretty. But again, it's really soft, even though it's covered in diamantes, it's really, really soft. And then I have another one here too, which is very soft from Kukai as well. So that's my, my plan. All my sweaters, I just want them to be soft and snuggly and not this weird, more rough texture that I just, I don't like. Anyway, to uh, share that things are a little bit different in here, I brought this in here last night from my office and it just has some random stuff in here at the moment. It has my new sweater, my little belt bag, my hats, a pair of jeans, and then some bags at the bottom. But I took the clothing rack into the office. I will explain more about that later. And I brought this here instead because with all of my sweaters, they're not really gonna fit into just those drawers and I'm gonna need somewhere else to stack them. So this may become a sweater cabinet. The really cool thing about these things is you can just always buy them more shelves for them from Ikea. It's called the Billy bookshelf thing with the two doors and yeah you can just buy extra shelves and uh, do whatever you want wardrobe wise with it which I think is very cool. So I think I might fold up my sweaters and start putting them onto these shelves and then I can start putting away the summer stuff.
just go for it and organize everything. I have all of my sweaters here on the top shelf. They are slightly color coordinated. This pile is my favorite because the colors just work so well together. And then I started digging into my top drawer which had some long sleeve shirts in it and then some body suits and then a whole bunch of skirts and shorts. Uh, so this one in particular is a winter one. I thought I would just uh, make a start on putting away all of my summer stuff. So my denim shorts, my other little shorts and I can start getting those boxed up. So much progress so this is all of my skirts and shorts and summer bottoms and then i also have all of my gym shorts and skirts as well so that's that one all done and then i've been working on these two drawers i have uh body suits long sleeve shirts and then i have two winter skirts and i will probably fit a few more winter bottoms in this top drawer as well maybe a few other winter tops because i have this one which is this really cute little strapless knit but it's really hard to hang up because these little strap thingies are so short so I feel like maybe maybe that could go in there and then the next one down I have my sports bras and gym leggings and then I have all of my beanies my scarf and my gloves and stuff it's amazing how much space these things take up and I haven't even started on the bottom drawer and I don't even know if I want to this is all sweaters and like cozy clothes and pajamas and stuff and I just I don't want to deal with it but I know I have to and then over here in this cupboard, uh, the sweaters are still the same. And then I just put all of my jeans. These two are skinny jeans that are great to go inside knee high boots. And then I have a pair of flares, a pair of like wide leg jeans. And then I think these two are from Abercrombie. These two are from Levi's and then this one's from H&M and they're basically the same style of jean. And then my favorites. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I just have a couple of pants up here that really need to be hung up and go in the wardrobe. I guess the next thing I have to do is probably start taking down these bright, colorful summer clothes and putting them into the box to free up some space in here. Not that I really need the space to be freed up. And then I can start looking at what other things I have. This was all of the winter stuff that I didn't put away, but I hung over in the corner. And I can now bring it out. I decided to start boxing up some shoes as well because these are all my summer sandals. There's a few in the hallway, extra flat sandals like this that I need to put in here as well. And then down here, I started getting out all of my shoes to decide what I should keep out for the winter or what I should put away. My boots need to be cleaned so badly. And I also need a vacuum in the bottom of the cupboard. so much tissue paper taking up space in the cupboards in the office so I decided to use it to stuff some of my taller boots which I'm very happy with I know you can buy inflatable inserts I did find some on Amazon and I'll leave those linked down below but I thought why not use some of this tissue paper because I was planning on getting rid of it anyway and then I have these brown thigh-high boots I bought a million years ago from a boutique in the States and I was gonna stuff them as well but I just never wear them so I'm not sure if it's worth 
worth keeping them or whether it's worth letting them go. I really should have got them in black all that time ago instead of the brown because I've just never really worn the brown that much. But I do love these boots here. These are some of my favorite. Progress. I cleaned a couple of my bags and I have them sitting up here on this shelf. This cupboard is pretty much the same. I haven't really done anything else to it. Behind me, I grabbed this big Ikea bag out of the front cupboard so that I can start putting some of this stuff that I'm going to give new homes to. And then in my wardrobe, it's pretty much all done, kind of. It doesn't look very neat. Uh, but lots of my hanging stuff is all sorted. I have a lot of my bags and stuff up in those boxes And then it's basically all the summer stuff Although I realized I forgot what was on the clothing rack in the other room and then down here I have my amazing neat organized boot and shoe collection That'll get me through the winter months and I'm actually so happy I boxed away some of my summer shoes that just feels so much more organized Oh, and then I just added a little stack of hats in here too, which I thought was really cool So yeah, it is a uh, whole kind Coming together. As I said, the hanging section is just uh, not quite right, but it's enough. There's plenty of room in there, and I don't know that I really need to organize it. I mean, I could color coordinate it. That might be a nice thing. I forgot about in here. I moved my clothing rack in here yesterday. I don't know, I was just in a mood last night and I <laughs> rearranged a bunch of stuff. I have one more pair of boots down there. I need to fold and put away all of this washing. And then I also have some more clothes that I need to wash. And then I need to pull all of the summer stuff off here and put it away. So I guess those three can go, this dress can go. Anyways, yeah, I will uh, get into that and then the reason that I bought the rack in here is because I'd like to style that up as well as these shelves and get this all neat and organized and maybe create a bit of a backdrop to do some outfit TikToks. I'm not sure, but that was my reasoning behind the changeover. done. My shoes are all organized. I got a little hat organization. All of my summer clothes fit into those four boxes and the shoes as well, which I'm super happy about. It's nice to know that that's everything I own in just a very small amount. And then this section is not done or organized. Really, I don't really know how to organize it. Maybe I'll color code it. I might come back to that in a little bit, but for now I'm going to just uh, shut this door and then I can come back to it. And then the rest of my bedroom is all neat and organized as well. And then this is behind me. It is so boring and bland and plain. I am so over the white. I kind of want to paint the furniture or at least put something on the wall, but for now it's uh, much more organized. And I brought this little plant in here. I'm, I'm hoping it does better in here than it did out there because it's starting to go a little bit yellow. And then all of my jewelry and all that sort of stuff is exactly the same. Just have these three bags and uh, this hasn't changed 
in the last two times that I've shown you either, so it feels so much more organized and I'm really happy about it. I did mention that uh, last night I just started pulling things apart and I've made this delightful mess on my living room floor. I don't know what to do with this space. It, it's got me really stumped. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it today. I think I'm gonna have to come back to it another day with a clear mind and an idea of what to do in here, but at least I did the major deep cleaning of my wardrobe, especially the shoes. I'm going to pop on a load of washing. I really need to clean all of my gym leggings. this side of the wardrobe because I feel like that'll just be a nice way to finish it up and of course color coordinating always makes me happy. two floral dresses down the end here and then it is all black into some more reddish orange brown tones into creams and then I have a lot of golds because you know it's the sparkly festive season through to some olive greens and then into some more brighter and then blue greens and then right through to some blues down this end and yes I went and almost spaced them evenly because I just had to it's all part of the visually appealing aesthetic process Oh, there's a gap. Too much of a gap. I am so fussy. Okay, I think I'm good. Pretty much done. But yeah, it's all color coordinated. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I've done enough cleaning and organizing. I am glad that I got in and did the shoe section of my wardrobe because that's something that's been needing it for a really long time. And I am so glad that a couple of months ago we did the whole wardrobe organization live because that made today so much easier. So I'm so glad that we did that. But yeah, that's uh, my whole wardrobe switch over. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.